The tables have already been open. 41% yes, 59% no for will be one shot four horsemen. When you're not using Thunder Fury, I use Thunder Fury to tank. Tables are closing, chat. Tables are closing. You better hurry. Get them in, get them in, get them in. 30, 36 yard cast. And let's go in. Go into the left. We're going to line up with the skulls. I thought we pulled us so scared. That kind of scared you. <laughs> okay, line up with the skulls. <laughs> I we when we walk in, pain free. Okay, here we go, chat. Go with me, so hopefully I don't get one shot. You guys all your flasks on, right? Okay, here we go. <laughs> Tanks, you guys should have your targets. Okay, See if the ready? corrupted Ashbringer drops, chat. That's who I'm starting on. The Ashbringer. Not, I, I don't have all my world buffs and stuff, so like Paladins already don't do great damage, but if they don't have all their world buffs, it's like really, really bad. Eight, sorry, eight, 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 eight. We gotta move, we gotta move, it's nine. 10. Like, I ran back no, because I'm like, uh, I will die to a meteor on his own. Yeah. 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 But we go, it goes both ways, 11. We're still probably gonna kill it. I think, I think we got it, 14, 17. We still don't have, okay, Morgan's about to go down. The fight gets exponentially easier as time goes on. You yeah, chat, we are recruiting. We need warriors and priests, especially. We are recruiting. So if you want to join Crusade on Verlina, 21. Wait up, it's been six months already. Call me Brute. Thank you for the tier three, six months. Thank you so much, dude. 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21. Yeah, send you just, send it, taunt it Yeah, if you guys are, if you guys want to join Crusade on Verlina, we are recruiting, so. I mean, okay, it's technically not over yet, but it's it's borderline impossible that we wipe at this point. It's not done yet, so we'll wait. And there it is. One shot. Believers, congratulations, believers. I don't and now it's time to see that we no, get the corrupted Ashbringer. Is it time? Get away from this chest. Everybody get away. Everybody, except for us, fans, go away from the chest. Now. Everybody back off, so. Believe was easy. <gasps> no way! Dude, it dropped. No way. No way. It dropped. It dropped. No way, dude. Oh, shit. Holy shit. <laughs> no cap. Wait, is it trolling? Oh, Wait, did we get the oh, warrior chest piece? That's all I care about. Wait, it's on the stream, yeah. It's, it's and two okay. warrior chest piece. Nice. Nice. Oh, nice. Two okay, warrior okay. chest pieces. It actually dropped. Right. Okay, okay. Fucking splinter, let's go. All right, I'm logging out with my boss. That's actually like the best loot we could get. It actually dropped. It actually dropped. Okay. Whoever's leader, get me. No way. Two is pretty sad, but two's better than none, I guess. Now, here's the thing. Alright, kick my warrior. I'm logging in my major. The best weapon is Might of Menethil. It's not the best weapon, but who knows when a Might of Menethil is going to drop. But, and also, I want them both for two different builds. But also, I don't know if that two different builds thing works on Classic, like it did on Private. But I also want it for the RP. I mean, it's a, it's a Paladin weapon. I've made that very clear from day one. I want them both. Grats S found on Corrupted Ashbringer. That's yeah. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Whoa, congrats. 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 What enchant are you putting on it? Dude, you got a Art. crusader, dude. Oh, there it is, dude. The corrupted Ashbringer. Look at that, dude. Uh, on death, you have a skull going around the skull. The corrupted I mean, Ashbringer. Two desecrated breasts. Holy crap. There it is, dude. Go to Scarlet Monastery. Okay. You guys that are offline, Tonight, you after offline, raid, doing we're doing going to Scarlet, Scarlet Monastery. Monastery. Why? What's there? There's a special event. If you have the Corrupted Ashbringer, there's a special event that basically all the Scarlet Crusade members become friendly to you. And then there's a whole like side event that happens that basically opens the door to how to find the real Ashbringer. And then Blizzard was dumb and they never actually finished it. Cause you were supposed to be able to get the Ashbringer in Outland. Yeah. You're supposed to be able to get the Ashbringer in Predator on, Crusade and they straight up like forgot about it. Right, but this is an event that was oh, never scripted on any private server I've played on. So I've never actually seen this event. But what ended up happening was Wrath of Lich King came out and they were like, you know what, Ashbringer is such a legendary weapon. We decided that no player should be strong enough what? to ever actually wield the Ashbringer. Spirit. And then they flipped and Legion, they just gave everyone Ashbringer. Oh, I have it. So. Guys, tonight we're gonna go to Scarlet Monastery and see that event for the first time. I had the Corrupted Ashbringer on private servers, but the event wasn't scripted. So what happens is you take the Corrupted Ashbringer into Scarlet Monastery, right? Because the lore is that the Ashbringer is like the weapon of the, the Scarlet High Lord. 
uh, Mograin, right? The Ashbringer. His name is the Ashbringer, his weapon is the Ashbringer too. So you do that and then uh, they're all friendly to you. That's why whenever I go to the Argent Dawn guys, <clears throat> that's why whenever you go to the Argent Dawn guys, the, I'm hated to these guys now. I was hated, Squad R. So because I'm hated, they attack me. Yeah, so that's how it works. So now, let's go. You <laughs> hate Crusaders. These hate Crusaders. Uh, I've never seen it before, and I'm very excited to see it. That's changed you. Yeah, it was awesome. Yo, Pala, take this brew. It will give you more energy for the upcoming challenge. This drink is called Game Fuel. Oh, Game Fuel. Wow, how delicious. Okay. What is he doing? What, you cursed tongues? I'm pretty sure he's purging you. The warlock. And, oh, the guy right, the, the, the run by. It sounds like the purge noise. Do I kill him? Wait, What's Helsey, are you serious? You, you didn't, Helsey, you didn't one shot a level 37, dude. You gotta be kidding me. He's level 37. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's cathedral. Okay, you got a freaking Bone Reaver's Edge. You can't even one shot a level 37. Oh, my, my game just lagged. I wonder if it triggered the event. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let's see. Hello? Oh! Bow down. Kneel before the Ashbringer. A new dawn approaches. Brothers and sisters, our message will be delivered to the field of this world through the Chosen One. Oh, frick, dude. Just ruined the immersion by bolting ahead. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I pressed the wrong button. Oh, no way! No way! No way. This is so cool. Wait, shrugs? Four shrug. Yo. Take me with you, sir. Look at this, dude. Unbelievable. So these guys all just bow when they see you. Oh, frick, he sees me. No way. This is so cool. No, it's not a cult chat. Stop. It's, this is not OTK. It's not one true king. What the frick? No, it's not, it's not literally a cult. Stop. It's, it's an orc. <laughs> Dude, this is so cool. The Ashbringer. <laughs> like they're all bowing, dude. I am unworthy. True. This is great. I wish my stream was like this. Have you come to save this world to cleanse it? Before the Ashbringer. You hold my father's blade, Esfan. My soldiers are yours to control, my lord. Take them, lead them. The impure must be purged. They must be cleansed of their taint. No way, dude. This is so cool. No freaking way. Okay, so how? Oh! Oh! Look, chat, look. High Lord Mograine, the Ashbringer, the ghost of Ashbringer. Renault. Father, but how? Did you think that your betrayal would be forgotten? Lost in the carefully planned cover-up of my death? Blood of my blood, the blade felt your cruelty long after my heart had stopped beating, and in death I knew what you had done. But now the chains of Kel'Thuzad hold me no more, and I come to serve justice. I am Ashbringer. 
Forgive me, Father, please. You are forgiven. What the frick? You killed him. What do you mean you're forgiven? You just killed him. Yo, what'd he drop? What's the loot? So now what? I think there's something with Fairbanks. No, I think you have to stay here now for the rest of the game. That's how this Oh, is this it? Congrats. Do I just log yeah. out here? This is your new cathedral. Congrats. <laughs> Let's go to Fairbanks. Okay. Scarlet Monk. And so does the unworthy kneel before the true wielder of the Ashbringer. His fight remain eternal, his legacy will forever be in the history of mankind. All hail the new Ashbringer. <laughs> High Inquisitor Fairbanks. Oh, he got up. Oh, there he is. Wait, what? He's a human now. At last, the curse is lifted. Thank you, hero. Curse? What's going on here, Fairbanks? You mean you don't know? The sword that you carry on your back. It is known as Ashbringer, named after its original owner, Mograine. I, the High Lord Mograine, a founder of the original Order of the Scarlet Crusade, a knight of unwavering faith and purity, Mograine would be betrayed by his own son and slain by Kel'Thuzad's forces inside of Stratholm. It is how I ended up here. What do you mean? It was High General Abendis, High Inquisitor Isilian, and High Lord Mograine that formed the Crusade. In its infancy, the Crusade was a noble order. The madness and insane zealotry that you see now did not exist. It was not until the one known as the Grand Crusader appeared that the wheels of corruption were set in motion. Wait, hands the Grand up, Crusader? Hands up. I still do not fully understand. The High Lord was the linchpin of the Crusade. I, Morgrain, was called the Ashbringer because of his exploits versus the armies of the Lich King. With only blade and faith, Morgrain would walk into whole battalions of undead and emerge unscathed, the ashes of his foes being the only indication that he had been there at all. Do you not understand? The very face of death feared him. He trembled in his presence. Incredible story. So, how did he die? The only way a hero can die, human, through tragedy. The Grand Crusader struck a deal with Kel'Thuzad himself. A deal which would result in him receiving a ring that timed out because loot trading only lasts for two hours. And thus an ambush was staged and it would result in the death of Mograin. The type of betrayal that could only result in the actions of one's most trusted and loved companions. You mean... I, the lesser Mograin, the one known as the Scarlet Commander. Though, what I suspect, the dealings of the Grand Crusader, he led his father to the ambush like a lamb to the slaughter. How do you know all this? High Inquisitor Fairbanks lifts up his tabard, revealing several... <laughs> whoa, whoa! Fairbanks, relax, dude. Revealing several gruesome scars. <laughs> because I was there. I was the High Lord's most trusted advisor. I should have known. I felt that something was amiss, yet I allowed it to happen. Would you believe that there were a thousand or more, Scourge? A thousand? For one man? One desire. This was the Ashbringer, fool. As the Scourge began to materia materialize around us, Morgraine's blade began to glow, to hum. The younger Morgraine would take that as a sign to make his escape. They descended upon us with a hunger, the likes of which had never been seen yet. Yet? Yet what? It was not enough. Fairbanks smirks briefly, lost in a memory. I'm stuck in a memory! A thousand came, 
and a thousand died. By the light, by the might of Mograine, he would smite them down as fast as they could come. Through the chaos, I noticed that the lesser Mograine was still there. Off in the distance, I called to him. Help us, Renald. Help your father, boy. And did he? High Inquisitor Fairbanks shakes his head. No, he stood in the background, watching as the legion of undead descended upon us. Soon after, my powers were exhausted. I was the first to fall. Surely they would tear me limb from limb as I laid there, unconscious. But they ignored me completely, focusing all of their attention on the High Lord. Please continue, Fairbanks. It was all I could do to feign death as the corpses of the scourge piled upon me. There was darkness and only the muffled sounds of the battle above me. The clashing of iron, the gnashing and grinding, gruesome, terrible sounds. And then there was silence. He called to me. Fairbanks, Fairbanks, where are you? Talk to me, Fairbanks. And then came the sound of incredulousness. The bite of betrayal, human. You mean, the boy had picked up the Ashbringer and driven it through his father's heart as his back was turned. His last words will haunt me forever. What have you done, Renault? Why? Why would you do this? You're right, Fairbanks. That is tragic. The Blade and Morgrain were a singular entity. Do you understand? This act corrupted the Blade and led to Morgrain's own corruption as a death knight of Kel'Thuzad. I swore that if I ever lived, if I, if I lived, <laughs> I would expose the perpetrators of this heinous crime. For two days, I remained under the rot and contagion of the scourge, gathering as much strength as possible to escape the raised city. And you did. I, I did. Much to the dismay of the lesser Mograine, I made my way back to the Scarlet Monastery, and I shouted and screamed. I told the tale to any that would listen, and I would be murdered in cold blood for my actions. Dragged to this chamber, the dark secret of the Order. But some did listen. Some heard my words, and thus was born the Argent Dawn. You tell an incredible tale, Fairbanks. What of the blade? Is it beyond redemption? I'm afraid that the blade which you hold in your hands is beyond saving. The hatred runs too deep. But do not lose hope, Paladin. Where one chapter has ended, a new one begins. Find his son, a more devout and pious man than you may never meet. It is rumored that he is able to build the Ashbringer anew without requiring the old tinted blade. But his son is dead. High Inquisitor Fairbanks shakes his head. No, human. Only one of his sons is dead. The other still lives. High Inquisitor Fairbanks points to the sky. The Outland. Find him there. Oh, frick! TBC confirmed, boys. TBC confirmed. What a cliffhanger. Wow. Actually real. Look at that, dude. TBC confirmed. Yes, that's right. TBC is... No, not CBT. Look, I'm not a big lore guy. <clears throat> I'm not a big lore guy in general. But this is... Uh, this is... This is easily, uh, in my opinion, the, the best story. As far as... Abernathy, get some pants on. Frick. As, as far as the lore in WoW goes, I'm not super into, like, uh, all... all uh, I, I would say most of the story. Why is everybody taking their clothes? I'm not into most of the stories, okay? But the story of the Ashbringer, I think, would be 
I, I think it's absolutely amazing. I think this would actually be an amazing movie. I was hoping years ago, whenever I found out uh, that they were going to make a Warcraft movie, I was just hoping it was going to be the story of Ashbringer. And that's it. And I think you could probably make very good standalone movies out of like Fantastic. single stories in the lore. I, I, I think it is so unbelievably good. Seriously, Clovers, are you serious? Hey. Yeah. What are you doing? Stop. This is a family friendly stream. Okay? Not a sex cult, by the way. This is just, it this is not a sex cult. They're just along. hanging out. It kind of sucks, man. So, Clovers just got let me, my Twitch Prime. Let me. <laughs> Let me give you guys a little bit of a, a spoiler alert. There is no Ashbringer. So basically, Blizzard did this whole thing and set this whole story up to lead into Burning Crusade. They even referenced Outland before Burning Crusade. Yeah. And they, they straight up forgot about it. There used to be a website back in the day called Ashbringer.com. It was a forum where people spent decades uh, going through and just putting in all kinds of information getting different stuff. I tried this, I tried that. How can we find the Ashbringer? There was stuff with fishing, Nat Pagel. And actually, Blizzard references themselves in Legion. You know how you can get the corrupted Ashbringer appearance for the Legion artifacts for, uh, for Paladins? Basically, they went through a bunch of those different rumors of how to get the uncorrupted Ashbringer, and that's how you get the corrupted Ashbringer. So like the, the fishing and, and all the stuff with Nat Pagel, that questline took so long in Legion. Dude, people did that in vanilla because they were trying to piece together like maybe it was like some secret quest that, that you, you had to do a bunch of this stuff to unlock. And uh, what ended up happening was Nax came out, somebody got corrupted Ashbringer, they came here, they go through this whole RP event and it talks about the Outland. And people are like, Outland, Burning Crusade. <laughs> Boom, there it is. So I remember back in Burning Crusade, people spent hours, thousands of years in, during the course of Burning Crusade, going around and trying to find who we now know as Darian Mograin, right? Where he was in the Outland. And what ended up happening was somebody asked Blizzard at some event, I think it was at like BlizzCon. When was the first BlizzCon? 2007? It was towards the end of Burning Crusade. Like, I think it was during a BlizzCon Q&A or something they asked, they were like, yo, what happened to the Ashbringer, right? Like you guys had this thing, you said he's an outland, does it exist? And they were like, oh yeah, we forgot about that and didn't put the Ashbringer in the game. And then what ended up happening was by the time Wrath of the Lich King came out, they said, look, the Ashbringer is a weapon so powerful, so legendary that we, we don't think any single player should be able to wield it. We will bring it back into the game and the only person that could ever wield it again is Tyrion Forgering. Until Legion, where they said, you know what? You get an Ashbringer, you get an Ashbringer. And they went all freaking Oprah Winfrey and handed every player an Ashbringer. So, yeah, it's kind of funny how that works, dude. Yeah, good one, Blizz. So then they made the Ashbringer like not nearly as cool. I've talked about how like, I I'm very much like, I'm very pro changes come Burning Crusade. If they find a way, now this is a very crazy change because this isn't like a little back end, something's wrong with an ability or this thing doesn't work right here, or this doesn't make sense. I would actually love to see them implement this back into the game and, and finish what they started and actually put the Ashbringer in the game in Burning Crusade. They're never gonna do it, but I would love to see that.